Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio, and let's talk about an overlooked cause of diarrhea. Now, diarrhea is one of the symptoms that can encapsulate IBS. Um, and when it becomes chronic in nature, it can certainly become very inconvenient. And uh, diarrhea, again, can accompany other signs of IBS, which may be gas, bloating, abdominal pain, just to name a few. Um, and if someone has chronic diarrhea, certainly diet is one of the first things to look to. But um, if not diet and not something like um, an infection or overgrowth like small intestinal bacteria overgrowth for example or some kind of intestinal infection when those things have been ruled out it's possible that someone may have malabsorption of bile now bile is a digestive um, a, a fat digesting substance released by the liver and stored in the gallbladder and it's secreted into your small intestine to help with the absorption of fat however in some people they have a syndrome known as bile acid malabsorption. And essentially what happens here is too much bile gets too far down the intestinal tract, so to speak. And when it does, it can cause diarrhea. Now, what's funny about this is oftentimes it's recommended for people to supplement with bile, to take a bile supplement to help potentially with diarrhea or with malabsorption. However, for people with this bile acid malabsorption, that may actually make them worse. And I'll put one study reference on the screen here that shows anywhere from up to 25 to up to even 50% of people with chronic diarrhea may have this bile acid malabsorption at the root cause of their diarrhea. So how can you figure out if this might be you? Well, first, you should try a healthy diet, some sort of low allergen diet, uh, something like a paleo diet or a low FODMAP diet can be a, a very good first step. Then have evaluated um, SIBO, small intestinal bacteria overgrowth, or any kind of uh, other dysbiosis like candida overgrowth, or even an infection like Giardia or Cryptosporidium, uh, common intestinal infections that can cause chronic diarrhea. If the diarrhea then persists, this may uh, be at the root cause. Um, there's another cause of chronic diarrhea, which, which can be inflammatory bowel disease, um, but this can actually be involved with inflammatory bowel disease due to how inflammatory bowel disease can damage the part of your small intestine that is supposed to help reabsorb bile so that you don't have bile acid malabsorption, which causes this diarrhea. So in recap, having too much bile may be one of the causes of diarrhea. And how can you then treat this or test this? Well, there are tests available, but probably the most practical and also support in the medical literature is a trial of a bile, what's known as a bile sequestrant or something that binds to bile, like a, like a bile sponge. Now there's a medication that can do this called cholesteramine and there are also natural agents like uh, Googaloo, Propolis, Boswellia. Many of these compounds actually are known to lower cholesterol. For example, uh, Google and propolis are known to lower cholesterol and they do so actually by being a bile binder. So if you're not sure about one of these herbs ability to bind, to bind bile, um, if it's a known cholesterol lowering agent that can help steer you in that direction. Um, now I wouldn't do this on my own, I would do this under the advice uh, or, or counsel of a clinician because there are other things like I mentioned that can cause a chronic diarrhea that are important to have ruled out. But something to think about to bring to your doctor or discuss with your doctor is the potential of bile acid malabsorption as a cause of chronic diarrhea which can be present in 20, uh, around 20 to up to up through 50 percent of patients with chronic diarrhea. This can be at the cause according to the published medical literature. So this is Dr. Ruscio and I hope this helps you get healthy and get back to your life. Thanks.